was looking on Amazon at some uh, crawdad traps. They look pretty similar to these dollar store baskets. These like garbage baskets. So we're gonna give them a try. Maybe we'll even use some dollar store sardines. We'll see if we can find some. For bait. I was gonna use some like carabiners or something to put these together, but I think I'm just gonna use some of this wire. And then some 56 foot long clothesline. Right, so it came out to be $14. So we'll give her a shot. And we have arrived and there's a fisherman already. This little gal's excited. We're finally to the water. We're going to get our crawdad. Oh, look, there's two crawdads right here, Connor. There's one right there and one right there. They're, they're nipping at those minnows right there. Oh, dude, he almost got that one. Did you see him nip at that minnow? Oh, he almost got that other one. Oh, look, this other crawdad's coming. Oh, that minnow keeps going right in front of it. And we've been seeing tons of crawdads out here. So we're gonna use our dollar store crawdad trap and see if we can get some. I was washing one of the trout that we caught and crawdads actually came up to the trout. It was super weird. I've never seen crawdads that like aggressive or that comfortable with me. So anyway, so we're gonna give it a go right here with our dollar store crawdad traps. And we got some sardines, some light tuna, and I think kipper snacks or something. What are these? Mackerels. These crawdads like the uh, mouse tails. Connor just caught a fish over there and a crawdad over there off of a mouse tail right off of that log. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this trap and those two traps out here along these logs. And I got my dollar store twine. And we're gonna toss it in right on, right by these logs because there's so many crawdads down in here. We'll give it a go. Connor caught another crawdad on a mouse tail. There's crawdads everywhere right here. Let's uh, look at all those fish. There's minnows everywhere. Let's get a, I'm gonna put a, one of these crawdad baskets right down here by these logs. Go ahead and go put them in the uh, ice chest. <laughs> He's not letting go of that. He's wanting to eat it. Oh, there he oh, goes. didn't swallow it like some of those other ones. <laughs> this was just barely on his lip. You see that? Oh, Daddy. There's no kind of yellow. No. He's right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's right there. You see him, Cammy? Oh, yeah. It's a big one. Another crawdad. Oh, Dibs. that's a big crawdad. Dibs. Whoa. I can't really see it, but. Look at that. That's a big crawdad right down in there. Right by where we dropped the fish. Oh, Drop it right down in front of him. Keep going. Nice and slow. Oh no, he's uh, he's afraid of it. He's backing away. Oh, see oh. the fish right there? Oh! The fish just went right by it. As I'm as I'm bringing him in, these all these crawdads. There's so many crawdads here. They're attacking the mouse tails. They're actually ripping the ends off the mouse tails before I can even before I can even uh, reel in the mouse tail. We caught more fish. Three crawdads. Can I use one to, for us bait? What, the, the fish? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you get the crawdad? It's in here. Listen, fish are right here. Oh, yeah, there was some there. We got... Oh, no, there's a big old crawdad right here. <gasps> Connor wants to see if it hurts to let a crawdad pinch his finger. He's gonna pinch his own antenna. Do your worst. <laughs> you lied! Who you lied? lied? Who lied? You! I, I said it didn't hurt that bad. <laughs>
I'm gonna rip off his fences. Oh! Eric, come here. Let me see it. Oh. It didn't even bleed. Oh. <laughs> Eric, come here. Let me see. Is it bleeding? He's looking at me. Oh no, he's going away. Watch out, come here, I'm gonna pull him up right there. But he's still pretty big, right? He's the nephew! Mm -hmm. Here. Oh. Daddy, I saw, there's another one right there on the log. Yep. Throw the fish back in. Mm -hmm. yeah. this way. Still these smaller guys. Back. Oh, there's still legs. Throw those fish back. There's, there's a good one in there. See that? It's pretty good one. Oh yeah. They're in the shade. I'm stuck again. How am I cut again? Oh big one. Yep. Can Throw we get those this? two little ones back and let's take that keep that big one. This one's big, Connor. Look how big and that is. Did a bobber break over here? Okay, fellow fishermen. Do not leave all this junk on the side, on the banks of the, the pond or the rivers, wherever you fish. They're playing with the crowd that Camry caught. Okay, this is our last pool of the day, and then we're gonna let it soak all night while we sleep. There's at least, there's at least one keeper in there. So in there, how about let's just bring the bucket over here and we'll dump them in it. Okay. Wait, that one wants to get out. He's wanting to get out. Oh, he got off. Mm. I'm gonna soak right there all night. I said we threw one over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dan's good to find the crawdads over there where it's kind of deeper. Yeah. But maybe we'll get this last one right here. Mm -hmm. And we'll throw it out. It's been windy all day. Fishing, there's a black bear going right up the edge right there. Oh, it's going now, it's taking off.
this mission is done. Well, that one will take these traps over there. Good. You guys cleaned out this whole bank, I guess, yesterday. Just dump them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he loves food. Or they love food. Watch them off, like, over there. Right there. No. Reel down, reel down, and then pull them up on the water. Yeah, this one's small. We'll get them back in the water. We're just hanging out over here. These little ladies are hanging out right there. Mm. <laughs> I like cray crayfish.